On January 3rd, this is well before he's elected, two months almost, Lincoln made his first decision of the fateful year in question when he refused a suggestion from the Secretary of State designate Seward that he should come to Washington well in advance of March 4th and come unannounced and by surprise in order to help thwart what seemed to be credible rumors of a plot to seize the Capitol on or before the inauguration. Lincoln thought that if there was any danger in Washington, it was not going to be on Inauguration Day, it would be on February 13th, when Congress meant to make the official counting of the electoral ballots that actually determined the president. Should the two houses not convene, or should they convene without quorums, what would they do? He didn't go on to ponder the possibility of an effort to stop the count by force, but Washington was a southern city, and it was filled with his political enemies. More significant than that, however, I think, is what Lincoln's refusal to Seward said. For the very first time, Lincoln made it clear to Seward that he would be his own man and he would make his own decisions rather than be managed and manipulated as many people, including Seward, expected to do with him over the next four years. Lincoln maintained control for the most part and at the same time revealed a keen judgment in his selection of cabinet. If it was not entirely bipartisan, there were no state rights Southern Democrats in it, for instance. Still, his choices showed more shades of political opinion than most of his predecessors' choices. He actually spoke with or considered for cabinet office three North Carolinians. He couldn't go south of that, of course, because those states were in secession. But clearly, that was an olive branch to the all-important border states. Remember, after the first several states, after the first six and then seven states go out of the Union, the policy in the North is to try to contain secession there to keep it from spreading to North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, Missouri, and others. 